now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. with up-and-coming results as they arise. We'll look at all the polls with hard analysis and stiff figures. The great American erection coverage. When erection results come, we'll spit them at you. From the erection headquarters of the Great American Broadcast, here's Alex Bennett. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, after so many years of waiting for this day to come, here we are. Yes, it's election night, 2020, and the votes are coming in. I don't know what they mean so far. It all seems to be kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it, we don't know which way it's going, okay, at this point. But I figured to start off the show tonight, uh, I wanted to do something uh, a bit uh, unusual, and that is to go to a person who we consider an expert uh, in politics, and uh, so we called upon him to join us this evening to talk with us. We recorded this yesterday, so if we aren't talking about, you know, what's going on right now. Look who we, I uh, have to look over here. Look who we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings well, from it's, California. Yeah, well, it's election night, you yeah. know. And uh, we figured, who better to talk to than Phil? Actually, this is being recorded just for uh, uh, the sake of uh, understanding what we're talking about and how we're kind of blind to it, uh, is we're doing this the day before. Okay, Right. We don't, we don't know who's going to win. We don't know who's going to win. By the time this goes on, there may be a couple of states that have come in for one candidate or the other. Right. And I figured, you know, all along... You know, we had some kind of blowout where Phil decided not to call anymore. And uh, I, uh, I every now and then I would say, I wonder what Phil thinks about this. <laughs> now, I could probably channel him, you know. Right. And, you, you'd and guess it. You I, know, I could it, guess it pretty accurately, but it's not like talking to the actual Phil. So I figured election night, it's time to go and talk to Phil and see what he's been thinking about this whole thing. And this way, uh, the rest of the people uh, don't get involved. It's just you and me, okay? I'm, I'm glad you reached out. And, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate that uh, you, you can't have a conversation in today's world if you're a Trump supporter amongst non-Trump supporters. Or, or if you're if you're a non-Trump supporter among Trump supporters, I mean, Absolutely. it goes the same way. You know? you know, I listened to a podcast the other day, yeah. and the one of the things that was mentioned, uh, it, the podcast was a guy named Dakota Meyer, mm -hmm. no relation, mm -hmm. and Dakota Meyer won the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor, mm -hmm. and uh, he he fought hand to hand. He pulled bodies out uh, in, in uh, Iraq. Uh, they went in. It was basically a suicide mission. It was only the fact that he was told to wait in the truck yeah. that he actually lived. Yeah. And what happened was he said this, and it, and it really struck me. He said, you know, the other guy thinks he's right, too. And, you know, if, if both guys think they're right and they're doing the right thing, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's you can't convince the other guy. You know, he wants to kill you, and the other guy, and and you want to kill the other guy because everybody thinks they're right. And uh, so, it, you know, it, it kind of well, put I, it I, in perspective. I, you for know, me. I don't know where this polarization. I would like to think this polarization started with Trump, but it really didn't. I think that the the polarization started started years ago, uh, but not to the horrible extent that it has recently. 
I right. mean, I, I think that, you know, when somebody is president, they set the tone for the nation, you know, and the tone that uh, Trump set was a very divisive kind of tone. And I think that, you know, the, the right uh, kind of felt emboldened by that and the, and the left felt very defensive about that. You know, uh, you know I, I have felt that divisive tone, mm -hmm. even uh, I, I didn't notice it in the uh, Bush years. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't even notice it in the Clinton years, but I did notice it in the Obama years. Uh, and, uh, you know, basically he started off, he said, we won, you lost, and and it, it sort of started from there. Did now, he say that? He, yeah, he said, you know, that the that he won, you lost, and, you yeah. know, that's, I can't quote it verbatim, but. Uh, well, I, I do think, though, and even you have to kind of admit this, that there was a certain amount of racism involved in the uh, kind of the resistance to Obama. That, you know, there were a lot of people in this country who couldn't get used to the idea of a black president. But he won. Oh, he and won. And won handily. Yeah. So th there was a lot of people that weren't black because what what is the uh, black population in, in the U.S.? 13%? Uh, it's probably 15. Yeah. 15. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, you're, in the, you're in the ballpark. Yeah. And, and he won handily. Maybe, mm -hmm. what, 55, 60%? Yeah. It wasn't just blacks that voted for him. He right, could have exactly. never gotten elected now, that way. Are, are there racist people? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, racism and, and hate and divisiveness has existed since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. You know, it, even in the caveman days, uh, you know, they knocked well, over the uh, head. Yeah, yeah, racism, though, has differed from place to place. And for instance, in, uh, in Europe, the racism isn't against blacks. No, I noticed but, that. But you know, you go to you go to England, Indians, you know, yeah, are, are, or Pakistanis, you know, Pakistanis, Pakistanis, people like that. Yeah. So everybody, everybody in every civilization has always had some group right. that they were racist against because they became the object of derision, and uh, um, you know, I, I, so I mean that we have to we have did, to go with. Did Biden? Say something about going into a Seven Eleven, and uh, you know, you, it, some uh, if you go into a Seven Eleven, you're going to get an Indian guy or something like that. I, I don't uh, think that was Biden. I, yeah, I, 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 it was definitely Biden. I, you know, I mean, I didn't record anything. I didn't know what. Look, we were you gonna... know, we all did things years ago based upon certain wrong Stereo assumptions, stereo it, I, stereotypical uh, ideas, and so on. <laughs> That, that today we would not embrace, all right? You right. know, I think for most of my life, I've been pretty non-racist. But I was raised white after all, and I had that privilege of being white. So even though I sympathize with the black movement and so on, I think I kind of, you know, I kind of had some of the problems too, you know? So I can't say that I didn't do things that were wrong. I can't say that even though I like to think that I was not a sexist person, that I didn't do something back in the day that was just considered okay to do. Yeah. You know. Um, no, absolutely. You know, the, the, the mores were different yeah. uh, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, what was acceptable then. But you can't judge uh, by... Uh, what was done in the past mm -hmm. by today's uh, acceptable uh, behaviors. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, the idea is that... What you do, what you should do is today, if you see that that behavior is no longer tolerated, you adapt to that and you don't go over the line, okay? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. But let's, let's, get to this, let's get to this election, okay? I, I wanted no. to mention one other thing. Sure. You know, I'm I'm a pretty outgoing person, and and I, you know, I, I'm not pushed by others in in most cases to conform to something that I don't want to conform to. Mm -hmm. And do uh, you know I don't have a Trump bumper sticker on my car, mm -hmm. and I am concerned about voicing my support for Trump because I don't want the windows broken in my car. You know, uh, 
I, I voted for him. I gave him money, but there's no sticker on the car. And I feel that I've been stifled. I, 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 I feel bad for you in that. You should yeah. be able to put that. But on the other hand, there are certain neighborhoods I could go into with a Biden st- bumper sticker and get my car keyed. You know, uh, I understand if I had you know, a car. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. It's just that, you know, I, I really feel um, uh, stifled. And, uh, you know, that's not the way it's supposed to be. I didn't have a problem. Putting well, a I remember I remember when I was a kid uh, and, and somebody was running for president, you put the bumper sticker of the team you were fighting for on your bumper and everybody went, OK, well, I don't agree with you, but good for you. You're voting, you know, whatever. Uh, but it, you know, one other thing yeah. is that I have a flag on the corner of my bumper mm-hmm. that is called a blue line flag. It's a flag that supports police Mm -hmm. and i've been brake checked a number of times on the freeway by uh people that see that and they speed up they come around and they and they hit their brakes this is this is the kind of thing now that's not right it's not good it's not right but it it seems to be but 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 on the other hand look at look at those people on the biden bus uh today or yesterday no that's terrible yeah if trump was smart he would come out and say this is not the behavior that I condone, and you shouldn't do it. You know because it's done no, but to he, a lot of. He didn't of, say uh, that. He didn't say uh, that. He didn't he? Should. Yeah, he should have. He should. Yeah. And if he did that, uh, you know, I don't know that the press would cover it. Oh, I but, think they would. I think they definitely would. I think let's let's talk about this race, okay? Because sure. we we only got about twenty five minutes for this. Okay, segment. I have I have uh, uh, one one issue. You remember uh, uh, yeah. when there were some uh, Trump supporters that came by and interfered with uh, Biden's rally? Yeah. Well, he called them chumps and he called them ugly. Well. <laughs> I'm a Trump supporter. <laughs> I support Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't even speak with those things on. No, no, maybe you don't have to. You get the laugh. <laughs> you know. um, no, do you think, you know, I have, have maintained that had uh, Trump uh, presented himself better with this coronavirus, had he made it, had he owned it, okay, had he made it uh, a thing that he was looking after and pushing and talking about and working on, that he could have just slid right into a second term without even breathing heavy. I think that his initial uh, press conferences hurt him. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that uh, what he should have done, uh, because he had done a number of very positive things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, of course, Biden is going to say he didn't do anything, you know, because he's running against the man. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, he did do positive things. He's working on a fast track for getting the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The vaccine, um, the vaccine out. Uh, he's worked on he, certain. Well, look, he, look, let me, let me correct you on that one. He's not fast tracking it. Who's fast tracking it are the companies that are going to make a fortune off of selling the goddamn thing. I understand. It's just that he's also mobilized the military. Well, that's that, that's a bad, that's a big mistake too because all, they're not mobilizing the military. What the military has done is said that they're going to hire private carriers like FedEx to deliver the vaccines to the various states, and then the states have to deliver it to the people. Uh, I, I hadn't heard that. Yes. Uh, what no, I what that, I had heard it was a military distribution. No, no, it's not like the military is going to every state with their you know with their trucks and stuff. No, they're going to mail it by FedEx to all of the states. Plus, well, they're, you probably you know, get it faster by FedEx than the post office. Yeah, I mean, let's not put a great deal of of hope in in a vaccine in this respect. I'm not saying it's not going to work. I'm just going to say that how many doses do we need to protect this country? A lot. And, and 330 million. Yeah, 330 million. And we haven't been able to do that many COVID tests. Well, uh, he also said that he was going to have 100 million uh, uh, within a month mm-hmm. and that they were going to go after the most vulnerable first, you know, older people, people with comorbidities, mm-hmm. and uh, they would – Use, Did you, you know, say comorbidities? 
co- comorbidities. Oh, comorbidities. Oh, com- yeah, yeah, that sounds good too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one, I don't want to divest from this, but you, you know, Como's daughter was dating one of his uh, uh, yes. protectors. Yes. And, and he sent him to Siberia. <laughs> this was a very funny thing that kept going on at his press conferences. He kept talking about the boyfriend. Yeah. And then a couple of nights ago, he was on the Colbert show, and Colbert said, uh, we haven't heard about him lately. What happened to the boyfriend? He said, well, he's not around anymore. And, <laughs> yeah. and Colbert's first line after that was, do we have to dredge a lake somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe on the Canadian border. I think he's some. Uh, he bought a house near near Albany, yeah. and now he's commuting. I think 160 miles uh, each way. Yeah. Uh, to uh, to his new post. The inference is the daughter's not that hot on him anymore either. So no. you know, whatever. But yeah, these uh, long distance relationships they never work. I know Cuomo makes me laugh. It's the, his New York thing that makes me laugh. You know. But anyway, uh, uh, so, I mean, there are, are things he could have done that would have, I mean, to me, if I were in politics and I was handed the, the, uh, the uh, COVID crisis, I would jump on that because that is election gold. You know? So let me ask you something. Yeah. What, to your knowledge, did Trump do that was positive with COVID? About the only thing, and it's very minor, believe it or not, was closing down travel from China, but it wasn't all f- travel from China. That's the other problem. We understand that. Plus, you know, what, if, where, what happened was he made it look like he was doing something. Meanwhile, he should have been closing down the East Coast, too, because yeah. this thing was already in Europe, infecting Europe, and he did nothing about that. He, he got a lot of resistance when he did that, didn't he? When he did what? When he closed down uh, when he China? closed down China. Well, because of his major anti-China attitude, they figured that he was picking on China in a lot of ways. You know. Well, but the point was, and he was, he definitely was. Uh, but you know, he didn't close down the uh, East Coast uh, for another month and a half, and by that time, three million people had come through and infected our fair city. You know. Well, did, we didn't know uh, what the effects early on were going to be. Mm-hmm. Fauci and a number of other people said, hey, you know, the, you don't have to worry about this. It doesn't transmit from uh, to, to people. No, uh, no, no. People. Fauci, I remember hearing Fauci back then saying, we really don't know that much about this. Okay. Right. Uh, and he asked Americans at that time not to wear masks, not and he's explained it, not because he felt masks weren't warranted, but that he realized that if everybody in America wore masks, the hospitals wouldn't have enough PPE to be able to handle the situation. That, that, that's correct. Yeah. Now, uh, what also happened was uh, we were worried that our hospitals would be overrun with COVID cases and that they wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah. So uh, what uh, what Trump did was he moved those hospital ships to uh, was it San Diego and mm. uh, the other one in New York. Yeah. Uh, he built uh, hospital beds in the Javits Center. Uh, and uh, actually, and I don't know. I don't know if he built that. I think Cuomo had them built, and the Army helped build it. Well, it was at yeah. Trump's direction yeah. to the army to build it. Yes, but, but, uh, but. so so, you know, he uh, at that point, our major goal was not to have the hospitals be overrun with COVID cases. So uh, by doing those things, that was his and many other, I guess, uh, people's reaction to uh, to dealing with the virus. But you got to remember that at that time, we were more overrun than anybody even since has been overrun. You know, we were getting to the point where at at Mount Sinai, they were putting hospital beds in the lobby of the hospital. Right. Now, just before we started getting overrun, uh, Italy uh, had uh, locked down. And I remembered seeing uh, people standing in their windows and everybody singing because they they had to stay inside. Uh, But 
they were also told that if they were found outside, they'd be shot. <laughs> so, you know, okay. now, <laughs> you know that, that's, an, that's an easy way to, uh, you know, get everybody to obey the, uh, you know, the lockdown. Yeah, but here, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just, let's get to, down to the election, the one that we're, right. it's being tabulated even as we speak. Well, not as we speak, we're speaking a day early, but yeah. they are actually tabulating them in a lot of the states early. Um, I, I, I know what to expect in this answer, but maybe I'm not going to get the answer I expect. All right. Who do you think is going to win this one? From what you see, from what you see, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a liberal, as a Democrat, as a radical leftist, uh, I want Biden to win, but I'm worried that he's not going to win. There's a certain part of me that says, even though the polls are on his side, you know, uh, I, I, I'll I believe it when I see it. How do you well, feel? I feel exactly as you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think that uh, Trump mm -hmm. may pull this off, but it's going to be an uphill slog, and it's only going to be because certain counties uh, vote in, in a way that's going to give him the electoral college. Yeah. But I, I am prepared... Uh, to deal with Robert, <laughs> <laughs> I am prepared. Yeah. The, the, the money is put aside just in case there's a Biden win. What is that, a $20 bill? Yeah, that was the bet the with bet Robert. The bet was 20 huh? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, so what I'll do, if I lose this bet, yeah. I'll send it to you with a self-addressed stamp or with an, a, a, an envelope with a stamp on it and then just put his address on and send it off to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure as a gambling man, he'll do the same if yeah. I win. Well, you know, I, um, um, you know, I, 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 I'm glad that you at least have the, the feeling that there is a chance that you're not going to win, you know, Always and, a chance. And, and, and I, I, you know, we still worry a lot, you know, I, we're, it, it, Biden is showing up ahead in most polls. Okay. But you don't want to sit here and do what they call in the Jewish, the Jews call a cana hura mm -hmm. by by saying, oh, it's a it's a, sh you know, it's good. Sure. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, uh, what Trump says is when they sample those polls that there's uh, more Democrats mm -hmm. uh, in the sample. And that's why uh, the polls are reading uh, for Biden. Uh, also, you know, as a conservative I'm seeing news stories uh, on Fox. Uh, we'll get that out of the way. But I'm seeing news stories that are being brought out that aren't being covered on mainstream media. Such as? Uh, the uh, Hunter Biden's uh, uh, connection. The reason that's not coming out is none of that's been proven. In fact, they feel it's all a not Russian uh, plan. Right. Well, that's story. what they're saying. Yeah. But, no, but they'll, they'll, the they're, <laughs> they're not saying it. They feel it definitely. And that it was channeled through Rudy Giuliani. I mean, we could get into all of this, but we're getting right. off topic. And that, uh, that you know, it's the Russians trying to play with the election. And that, in fact, there is no even the laptop is a phony, you know. Well, yeah, it's just that it's strange that the laptop was. Look, uh, I don't give a shit what Hunter Biden did. Uh, well, that, you know. that's, that's, that's what I'm saying is yeah. nobody gives a shit as long as they beat Trump. Well, no, uh, that's not it. That's not it. I think that uh, uh, Joe Biden, I think is a pretty ups decent guy. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's uh, there's much evil in him. Uh, his son, I'll agree with you, probably a real fucked up human being. And his brother, right? and, and his brother, both kind of like mm, you know, but uh, no, not not because too. Biden didn't try. I mean, he was taking the train home every night. You know, so he well, can be with huh? You know, it's expensive to live in Washington. It's, you know, it, but the, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's more expensive taking the train every night back home. Now, you know, the <laughs> apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, uh, uh, the point uh, is, the point is that uh, all of that is, you know, I agree with you. If uh, you know, certain press has been very pro Biden, and that's the way they are. That's why I find it very hard to watch MSNBC. I don't like to be coddled. OK, I go over to Fox, though, and I see them coddling to their crowd. And I'm looking for that one place I can go where somebody's being 
you know, just kind of telling me what's happening and not. I, I you thought know. that was the uh, Christian Science Monitor. Uh, probably something <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah. And I, I can't use the Christian Science Monitor because I'm not Christian and I don't believe in science. No, I do believe in science. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's what Trump said he didn't, you yeah, know. Yeah, he, didn't <laughs> he doesn't believe in science. In science. Well, you know, um, I have, uh, you know, I, I have to say I have missed you being on. I haven't missed some of the uh, angst that it gave me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, I, now that this is all over, uh, you know, or w uh, as of tonight when, when this is being played, yeah. uh, I, I hope that maybe you will join us again on occasion. Well, occasionally, you know, if you want. Uh, yeah. I just, as, as I said when I, I, I wrote No, because in a normal conversation, even this conversation we're having here, yeah. you're fine. You're terrific. Yeah. And you're not being on your best behavior. You're just saying what you feel and, you know. Exactly, and you're allowing me to yeah. do it. And I think there are some people who do miss you, you know. Yeah. And one of them was me. Oddly Thank enough, you. I mean, I, well, I, no. I kept telling people I never kicked you off the show. You decided not to call any longer, you know. I wrote you and told you why. Yeah. I said, look, if what I say or the way I say it uh, causes you mm -hmm. to get that upset, you're my friend. Yeah. I, I don't want to upset you. Yeah, so uh, I'd rather I'd rather not call. Well, now I would rather you call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But I just wanted to find out what you thought. And so your predictions for tonight, you're going to predict Trump, right? Uh, I'm going to predict Trump. I'm a I'm a little concerned. Yeah. As you are. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for me, uh, there's a lot of things on the line. Uh, there's gun control. Mm -hmm. There's higher taxes. There's uh, there's a number of things that, uh, uh, you know, there's yeah. the uh, there's I don't think he's going to uh, support the military. I don't think Biden's going to support law enforcement the way Trump supports it. Mm -hmm. uh, you okay. Know, so OK, but let me put it. Let me ask you this last question. Then we got to go because I'm sure my people want to talk about this. All right. Uh, and that is just a very, very simple uh, question. Um now I forgot what it was. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. That's what happens. That's what I happens to me. I, um, I, I just, you know, uh, oh, yeah, I guess the, the question would be, do you think even if Biden becomes president that it's going to be that terrible? Or do you just think, it, do you think maybe he'll kind of give a certain balance, get a certain balance, equilibrium going in the country? Yeah. Um. I, I would hope so. If he became president, he's the president. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything that would uh, restrict his ability to lead, right. you know, whether it be my moral support or, or, or anything else. If the guy gets elected fair and square, he's the president. He makes decisions. He runs the ship. He's the captain of the ship. Mm -hmm. And I'll fall in line. I, I won't yeah. like it. But I won't, uh, you know, I'm not going to yeah. go out and protest because he's the president. And I'm not going to loot and I'm not going to yeah. burn down a store uh, because I don't like who got elected. Yeah. Hey, listen, we got to go. Let the other people here tonight talk. But I thought that the idea of just you and I one on one would be terrific. And it has been. And I Thanks. love talking to you. And you've been my friend in the past and you still remain my friend. And in spite of what anybody thinks, uh, I'm I'm glad to have you on tonight. I also want to mention that a number of uh, the panel and other listeners actually reached out to make sure I was all right, yeah. and uh, it, it was very nice of them. Yeah. And, and again, okay. my condolences with Ronnie. Yeah. I uh, I feel for you. Thank you, and please do call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Meyer. Take care, everybody. This is coverage of the Great American Erection, covering the hard choices with up-and-coming results as they arise. We'll look at all the polls with hard analysis and stiff figures. The Great American Erection coverage. When erection results come, we'll spit them at you. From the erection headquarters of the Great American Broadcast, here's Alex Bennett. Thank you. Oh, I... Cut off the music a little early. Oh, well, what the hell. Anyway, uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, welcome to our little program. Uh, this is election night, and who knows how the hell it's going to turn out, you know? Uh, 
what can I say? Uh, it is, uh, it's nip and tuck, and it's going to be a close one, no matter who wins. So uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Uh, we don't know what's happening in Pennsylvania. It's too close to call. Uh, Trump is 56 percent, uh, Biden at 41 percent. But nevertheless, um, it's going to be a couple of days before the Pennsylvania results are are in completely. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, we only have one person waiting in our uh, waiting room. So let me admit him now, uh, so that we can. Uh, I, well, I, I, yeah, and Jeff Stein, admit him, then there'll be two people. Well, uh, the, oh, there you go. There's Brian Neary. Uh, let me see here. Let me also go to gallery view here so that we have all our people together. All right, there we go. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi. I have a situation. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. All right. You have a situation. <laughs> Adrian's feeling like she wants to throw up, so I said, well, just cough and I'll be back. Uh, okay. I, All right. Yeah. If she, if she doesn't do it for me. Well, he doesn't do it for me when I feel like throwing up, but what the hell? Anyway, good evening. Hello, Ray. How are you doing there? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, man. I used to got the Tony background tonight. Fucking character. You know? Look at yes, that. right. I do. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Except man. I put my tooth in, so no, we're going to take it out. No, okay. Oh, oh. There, that's more realistic. Good man. Is, do you really have a fake tooth there? Yeah, I, I have to get an implant, so they gave me this flipper. Oh, the flipper, yeah. Flipper. Yeah. Did they, how, much <laughs> did you, how much did they charge you for the flipper? <laughs> Ridiculous amount of money for everything. I mean, I mean, the flipper itself was like 400 bucks. Ooh. Oh, well, I got a flipper. And then the tooth's thousands. The tooth is thousands? You know, the implant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I got, I've got, I, I'm getting an implant, too, right back here. Oh, yeah, right, right. They didn't get yeah, I have two. These two front teeth are implants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, they they didn't give me uh, an implant. I mean, they didn't give me a flipper. Oh, for back there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm hearing myself somewhere. I don't know. Somebody's got the, maybe somebody's got their thing up. Uh, oh. Hello. Uh, oh, oh, Scott. Son of a bitch. I haven't seen you <laughs> in a long time. Scott. Scott Bodiker. Can you hear us, Scott? Uh, yeah. Can you hear us? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. My mistake. Okay. What? Uh, uh, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. We can hear okay, you. okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. I had my audio up. Yeah. Hello, John Larkin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and oh, yeah. Brian Neary has joined us here. And my stomach is bothering me, so I might have to run off to the bathroom during this show tonight. But... That's, a, that's a Adrian, too. <laughs> oh, man. I just been, I've been in just terrible shape today. God, I don't know what it is. I'm just tired and exhausted and lightheaded and, you know. Trump derangement syndrome. Yes, yeah, I guess I'm just exhausted. From <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes. Yeah, I uh, I ha I didn't have haven't mentioned this on the program because uh, I haven't had a program since uh, this incident happened. But we lost Ronnie Bennett. Uh, oh yeah. She uh, died on. Oh no. Uh, yeah, she died on Friday, uh, right after posting our interview together. Uh, and she, uh, she they, up in Oregon, they have that uh, death with dignity law, and you can take a pill and put yourself to sleep. And that's exactly what she did. Kind of got me. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss her. Sorry about that. Yeah. Wow. But at least I have a replacement for her in Phil Meyer. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Please bring Ronnie back. Yeah. <laughs> no, Did we get a pill for him? Huh? What? Did we get a pill for Phil? Yeah, a pill for Phil. Yeah. I'll take it. Mm. Did you have your eye surgery? No, your I, eyes look I, good. No, I didn't have eye surgery. You, you I didn't? Had, no, I had a... Uh, the, a cons the lids. A consult. Oh. Oh, when I get the lids done, I'm out of here for a week. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Man. It's going to be in the 1st of December. 
and he, I'm, my eyes are going to be black and blue for day for about three weeks, but I'll be so able. Why to, can't why can't you do a show? It's just your eyes. Well, yeah, but I won't be able to do it, it, it for the first couple of days. I've got to put uh, ice packs on my eyes uh, all the time, continually for three straight days. What, what what's that? All oh, that noise from? What is that? Is that somebody? Uh, is somebody in, in in one of your environments talking? Um, so anyway, so I'm you know uh, I'm uh, not looking forward to that particularly, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, it needs to be done. It's the lids have to be brought up and tightened up. Uh, so that I can actually see better again, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't want to do it, but, you know, it should be done. You know, it's just, I get this whole thing, like with Ronnie dying, I, I immediately, it, it hits me. It goes, why should I have it done? I mean, if I get it done and then I die in a month, you know, was it worth it? You know, I got to at least get three, four, five years out of these, out of this eye job to make it worth my time and my uh, my pain and the anguish. Right. So. But anyway, so I we lost Ronnie, and I, you know, I uh, the last interview she ever did with us was on last Wednesday, and um, she didn't post it on her site until Friday. I ran it on my show Wednesday, so. Um, uh, Gonna miss her, you know. Gonna miss her. Uh, I mean, it, it, it. Part of me was sad, and part of me was relieved because she's been going through this for a long, long time, and I had to expect that the day would come, you know, when um, this uh, sort of thing would occur, and I, um, I, I. So I, w I was very accepting of it when it happened. Okay, um, but I still didn't feel good about it. And, uh, you know, it made me just think about the life that we had together. I was not a good husband. It wasn't a great marriage, but uh, it was a great friendship, and it lasted. So that was what was so important to me. There's uh, some cool pictures you posted. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Um, yeah. and so anyway, that's, you know, that's that. Um, but... Um, the, uh, the the thing about tonight, do anybody have any opinions about what's going on here? I mean, well, that no, the noise before was me, so my son's in here, and I, I'm really sorry about Ronnie. I just, I, I, feel, I really feel for you. Well, because I yeah, know you're really close to her. Yeah. I know it's a relief in one way, but on the other hand, you know. Well, everybody writes and they say, I'm so sorry for you, and I have to go, well, I mean, that's what people normally say because it's kind of hard to come up with words to say to express, you know, how yeah, you feel. Yeah, I don't know what else it. to say. I mean, yeah, I just... exactly. But, you know, I mean, um, the loss isn't mine. The loss is mine, yes, but it's the loss of a lot of other people, too, who read her, who enjoyed her, who's li who impacted their lives, you know. So anyway, let's get to uh, this little thing that's happening tonight. What? Any opinions on what's going on? Anybody? F yes, John. Yeah, it's um, it's so it's it's pretty disappointing. I uh, I seriously thought that uh, you know it wouldn't be this close, and I'm not saying it's over yet, but it's it's scary. It doesn't look good. Another thing, uh, this Senate race in in Georgia between the young guy, John Ossoff, mm -hmm. and uh, Purdue. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Purdue's going to win, but he, he is he's such a loathsome piece of shit. You know, if, if you saw that um, that debate, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. he's a fucking crook. And, and yep, uh, yep. Ossoff just came out flat out and said, it's not only that you're a fucking crook. He didn't say fucking, but he goes, it's not even... It's not even that you're a crook. You basically are putting the the people of your your constituents and constituent whatever constituents constituents yeah. yeah yeah the danger. It's just got my blood boiling. I I just plus I'm on, I, I'm on some kind of drugs from the uh, the the um the, yeah the shingles the shingles. shingles yeah yeah and That's one of right. them is a one of them is a it's it's a anti-convulsant, but mm -hmm. it's also used for depression. What's it called? Neurotonin or something. Neurotonin, like that? yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, neurotonin. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I should, uh, I'm, I've been acting weird all day today because mm-hmm. I've never taken this stuff before. But maybe, maybe it's good that I, I'm on the antidepressant because, you know, otherwise I'd probably be throwing <clears throat> shit all over the house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now let me let me just for the audience's uh, edification uh, put up the uh, the map as it's going right now. Uh, this is the uh, all the red you see there are the states that uh, Trump has taken. All the blue are the ones that Biden has taken, and the ones that are gray are just nothing's been settled yet. Um, uh, Trump is ahead in Michigan. He's ahead in Pennsylvania. He's ahead in Ohio. But they're all considered too close to call, all right? So it could be that there's not going to be a resolution to those anytime soon, and those are going to be in contention. But, uh, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, it's um, it's uh, kind of amazing. Uh, I thought it would be a little more of a route than this, uh, which... I'm really disappointed in America. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, you know, I mean, isn't it obvious that this man is a piece of crap? You know, that he's a loathsome human being. Not the kind of person you want to have representing your country. And yet there are people out there who vote for this guy. Who say, oh, he's been great for the economy. What do you mean? He doesn't, doesn't even know what he's doing for the economy. They think he's this great businessman when every business he's ever had went bankrupt. Yep. You know, his idea of how to save America from financial crisis is to, like, burn it down and get the insurance money. Or, or find someone to rip off. That's all he's been his whole life is a fucking rip off. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just, I just find that he, uh, you know, is, uh, oh, I was going for uh, Biden, it looks like. Still too Oh, hey, to how about that? Yeah, that'd be what? nice. That'd be oh, nice. Kind of 48% yeah. in. Huh? 48% yeah. of the vote is in. Yeah. But and, it's only six electoral votes. And, yeah. oh, out in Iowa, it looks like Teresa Greenfield is uh, is giving uh, Joni Ernst a good run for her money. Yeah, good. That might be nice, you know. Yep. Yeah, yep. I'm nice. looking at these things as they come in. That's why I'm not looking necessarily directly at my audience. The QAnon uh, candidate won. Which one was that? Uh, well, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie Joe Green. What was from, that? Yeah, uh, she's from the De- Deliverance uh, County in yeah. Georgia. I, I I see. But is she uh, is she is in for the Senate or for the uh, for the House. Congress? House. 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 Okay. House. All right. Um, so you know, uh, and of course, uh, Lindsey Graham won tonight. That's that's the one that I bothers me. That. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but, uh, it, it, it just, I would have thought that, you know, with what's going on in this country with COVID and, and everything else, that the choice was perfectly clear, Yeah. you know, um, and, and, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just, uh, the, 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 the kind of pitch that, that Biden was doing, I mean, I can't, in the case of uh, Clinton, I could say she lost that race. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say Biden tried as hard as he could. Maybe. I mean, we don't know. He may wind up winning this whole thing. That's entirely possible. Um, what do you think, Charlie? Yeah, I, I, I can't believe Americans are so stupid. I just cannot believe this. I mean, how do you elect a moron? He's probably, his IQ is probably less than 80. He can't even complete a sentence. He hates people. He doesn't care one iota whether we all live or die. All he cares about is how much money he can make. And he's shown that over and over again the last four years. And yet all of these states are voting for him. Even if Biden wins, I'm going to be depressed. And I'm going to be depressed because it was this close. Yeah. You know, yeah. it shouldn't have been this close. It should have been a route. Not in a country with any sense of morality. OK, but they don't. This country has lost its it has lost its soul. OK. And, uh, you know, 
as a result, uh, it's going to rot in hell. And 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 you know, I, I if if Trump is president again, nothing's going to happen with this COVID virus. It's only going to get worse. We're only going to have another couple of hundred thousand people dead. Me, one of them probably, as a result. You know, I mean, come on. Uh, you know, where's your where, where where's your decency? And and I say that to the American public because when the, even as I say, if Biden wins, I, I'm I'm going to feel resentful of this country for letting it come that close. That you didn't stand up and say, yeah, this is not accepted behavior, and yes, you haven't done the job of protecting us like you should. Yeah, and like you said before, you know, the the last election, okay, maybe people wanted to change. They thought this would be a radical change, but now to see his piece of work for the last, you know, almost four years, and now to see how strong it is, it's just like unbelievable that people are still with him. Well, you know, la last yeah. night I couldn't sleep, so I watched a bunch of Fox News clips in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. And I can see where if you watch that all the time, mm -hmm. uh, you have oh. a completely different viewpoint. Now, of course, you're choosing to watch it, which is what bothers me. Um, but it, it lays out the world in a totally different way. Well, I, I, I have enjoyed watching them occasionally, only from the standpoint that it was, it's like going into another world. In other words, it's taking the perspective I have and turning it on its head and immersing me in a reality that I know doesn't exist. Exactly. You yeah. know? Uh, and yet, on the other hand, Fox has not... It, you know, Trump doesn't like Fox. I mean, this morning, the day of the election, what's the first thing he did? He called Fox and friends and told them what a piece of crap Fox was. <laughs> Well, because they don't go far enough for well, him. Well, also because he's planning on starting his own news network if he doesn't get reelected. Yes, Charlie. And what what really boggles my mind is that all of these people are so scared of the word socialist oh. that they are going to vote for a fucking fascist. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they, they, they don't, to begin with, I mean socialism shouldn't be a bad word no so, socialism is a, a feeling uh, you know if you ask any of these people who say oh well you know we're just suddenly going to be socialists and you ask them what a socialist is most of them can't even tell you yeah they, they think it's communism it, they think it's communism yeah yeah so so i i I always hear these Trump voters when they interview them, they say, why do you like Trump? They go, well, because he's not like a, a, a normal politician. Well, what does that mean? That means a normal politician speaks coherently about the, you know, the issues. Trump doesn't speak coherently about the issues. He just, you know, he just talks about fucking, you know, bullshit that's on TV and his hair and shit like that. And those stupid voters support that because they're stupid. And he talks to them because they're fucking stupid. Well, have any of you now got a good idea of how Hitler came to power or Mussolini? Yeah. Yep. Incrementally. Yeah. And if Trump makes it for another four years, he's going to solidify that. This is going to be a banana republic by the time he's finished. <laughs> yeah. And I predict course i've been wrong before i predict there won't be a 2024 election i would tend to agree with you i would tend to agree with you i think that uh if he's re-elected president he's going to take it as a sign that he can get away with anything he wants to get away with he already yep. does he thinks he's that already the, told what is it he said that i think was the 10th amendment or something makes him just able to do anything he wants to do uh, yeah, Article 2. Uh, Article 2, yeah. yeah. It allows him to do anything he wants to do. What? You know, I mean, I, and he's going to take that to heart. And he's going to get even with people like you and I who didn't vote for him. You know, New York is going to be turned into a wasteland by him. I'm telling you, I'll never fucking vote again. You know what you got tonight? I'll well, tell you what you got tonight. Well, a racist country. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's what you got. Yep. A racist country voting for a racist. Well, 
right in feet, right in your face. I, I just, I, I, I don't know. Did the blacks turn out to vote? That's the Alex, question. I, voted. Voted. I know you voted. Yeah. Well, there's one black who voted. Yeah. I think about what Trump said. He, even Burks came out against him today. I, basically, you vote. I'm telling you right now, as an American, I am ashamed that I live here now if he wins. Yeah. I am totally embarrassed. I will never vote again. What, what's okay, happening is the jury minority rule. Go stick it up their ass. We're, we're basically turning into a country where the minority rules, you know, and that's dangerous. Yeah. That's that's where, you know, you, you don't want to throw that's not democracy. I mean, democracy, when when the founders founded it, they wanted to protect us from a majority demagogue, well, not a minority demagogue. That's what what's happened to our system. Basically, yeah. you know, Trump's going to lose the uh, the popular vote, mm-hmm. but he's still going to he's still going to win. It's not even that the other it's night. There. He tweeted the other night when they were going against Biden's boss, he said they were good patriots. They almost ran him off the fucking yeah. road. Yep. Yeah. yeah. In Pennsylvania, Trump has 57.7% of the uh, of the uh, vote so far, but only half of them have come in and there's many millions left to go. So, we don't know what's going to happen in uh in this, Pennsylvania. This is a sad day in history. I'm going to tell you, this, I, I am in shock. Oh, you know what surprised to me too is all the people that actually believe in this QAnon thing. There are millions. Yeah. 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 And That's amazing to me. Bullshit. I went to the poll today. And they were outside. Well, he's going to stop Antifa. I turned around. I looked at the guy. I was like, what a fucking asshole. I just walked away. I gave him a look. Go You're going to stop Antifa? Did you ask the guy what I Antifa? didn't even wheel my mother in. Yeah, because I tell you, if I was younger, I would have smacked him in his face. You should have told him. Bullshit. You tune into the Antifa uh, podcast. I mean, uh, did you tell him that, that Antifa? Alex, did, you hit it right on the head. You could have told he, him that Antifa doesn't exist. Or you could have told him, you know, who, you know the leader personally. But Alex, think about what you said the other day. They stopped traffic on the bridges. Yeah. They get so mad when the BLM people get in the way of traffic and they scream their heads off, but it's all right for the Trumpsters to do that. I'm afraid the next four years, Charlie, I think it's going to be fucking, he's going to do whatever. You know what? Now he banks up the company because, you know, he don't care. He's making his money now. Now he's going to make more. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I've been, I'm against guns, you know, but I think I'm going to go out and buy one. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't want. I don't care if Trump uses. this. I'm going to tell you right now. For how many people he's endangered, Trump? No. I hope he gets a bullet. Oh, uh, you know what? He's going to arrest Joe Biden. You. you watch. I would have hoped Hitler got a bullet. How many people did Trump he endanger, and he applauds them? Come on. Well, well you know, the way it is. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Tony. Mm-hmm. In case uh, the Secret Service is listening, he, Tony is just using that as a figure of speech. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he said he just wishes. He wishes, yes. Yeah. There was not any desire to do it. But, geez, you know, I mean, this is just, this is pathetic. Uh, now, I have to say that New York uh, came in today and the vote was... 75% Biden, you know. Wow. So I'm happy to live here. No, but here's, here's what I really mean by that, Ray. And I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. Let's be honest, Ray. Trump is applauding for them running his car off the road. Trump's applauding for them to stopping traffic with his old people in cars on bridges. That's not a protest. That's just stopping traffic. He's That's just being an asshole. Tony, I'm with he's you 100%. <laughs> I you mean, know, I mean. Would you really... Would you really yeah. lose any sleep if somebody took a pop at him? Come on. No, zero. I mean, I mean, when when you had when you had a dictator like Hitler who was responsible for him. all the suffering, uh, I would have hoped that he would have taken one. I mean, I hate to say that, but the but guy I is hate just to say it too. But he's killing how many people? And he's a I, exactly. Killer. He's killed what? Uh, he's he's like a serial killer in a sense. This is a bizarre world. Have I ever seen it? Well, I just, I, 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 am, I do, am I seeing what I'm seeing? I just saw an ad on MSNBC get, for guess what? Oh, no, what? CNN nope. election night coverage. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the coverage. How'd that <laughs> happen? I can't believe uh, it. My mother went to bed. She was sick. I think he's going to kill my mother by the end of the week. Well, look, we don't know how this thing's going to turn out. Uh, she this, says, is he winning? Is, I says, Ma, just go to bed. You're not going to want to You know, result. this mm. is going to come within a few electoral college votes. 
I can't believe it like that. Of a win or loss, okay? And uh, I think we're going to see it being contested. I, I really do. Oh, yeah. You know, yes. you know, he has been setting up the contesting thing yeah. for months. And so there's going to be a couple of states like Ohio and Pennsylvania. He's going to figure out which ones he's going to contest it, saying that, that there was voter fraud with the bail-in ballots. It's going to go to the Supreme Court and they're going to give it to him. Yeah, right. I can see that easily. Well, um, well, if they do, it's the end of the country. Let me it's see here. The what the, where, I'm where, afraid we're going to do in four years. Where, where's the uh, Where's the current? You're right, Alex. Uh, New York. We might as well just burn because he's never going to give us any bail. Yeah, he He doesn't follow the Constitution now. They give him another term. Forget oh the Constitution. God. Well, Forget Biden it. right now has 192 electoral college votes to Trump's 114. Okay, but. Yeah. So we're, you know, we're within uh, 50, Arizona, uh, 50 48 votes of uh, electoral college votes of Biden winning this one. So he, we still got places like Montana, Idaho, uh, Arizona. We we need Arizona. Biden is, need is currently Arizona. ahead. Yeah, we're Arizona is, Arizona. Arizona. is currently Arizona. ahead yeah. in uh, Mo- Montana. It's currently. Ahead in uh, Idaho by uh, quite a few. Uh, Nevada hasn't come in yet. Arizona, they haven't given to him uh, yet, good, but Arizona <laughs> looks like it is going Biden. Okay, and it went for uh, what's his name, Mark uh, the the Did Mark Kelly. Win? Mark Kelly, yeah. Awesome. It looks yeah. like it. He hasn't won officially yet. They haven't. He's way ahead. You know, he's got a good lead though. But he's got a good lead. Uh, uh, you know, uh, so if Trump is going to have to do a g- big run here. He's going to have to get Minnesota, which Biden is ahead right now uh, by, uh, oh, geez. Uh, he's ahead by 13 points. Uh, oh, 13? Wow. Okay. He, you know, he uh, Iowa, uh, did I see that? Well, Trump's ahead in Iowa, but not by much, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a pretty well little toss up there. So what about Minneapolis, you know, this isn't uh, yeah, so it isn't over yet. And in Texas, uh, Trump has fifty one point eight percent, Biden forty six point eight, but so uh, uh, and eighty five percent of the votes are in. Yeah, so it's not looking good. It doesn't look good, but still, that's a lot of blue for Texas. You yeah. know, Texas is a very red state, and somehow they haven't put Florida in Trump's camp yet. I don't know why. I guess they haven't called Florida yet. They, they consider it too close to call. Mm-hmm. Um, they consider Georgia too close, too early to call, but that's 56, 67%. Let me just, let me redo uh, this page here just to make sure. My mother got to I'm right. What's going on? Uh, Georgia <laughs> is uh, uh, 67%. They say it's too early to call. Uh, I wonder how many of the of the mail-in ballots have been counted already, because a lot of states couldn't exactly. even start counting them until today. Right, well, right. Uh, Pennsylvania didn't start doing them till today. That's why mm-hmm. there's a big question as to, for instance, uh, they only have 48 percent of the vote in, in Pennsylvania. Trump's out front by 14 points, but that could easily be eaten up once they start getting all those mail-ins, you know. So remember, that's what they're saying. Trump might look like he won tonight, but by the time they count all the mail-in ballots the rest of the week, you could go. That's true. Be the other way. Well, he doesn't that's look true. like he's won tonight yet. I mean, he it looks right now like Biden is ahead. I mean, Biden only yeah. has only has to come up with another forty-eight uh, uh, electoral college votes. I mean, he did a. No, sw- he needs about another hundred ninety-nine. It looks like. I mean, he's at, no, no, no. It's well, he's, 100, he's got 192. He's got 192. He 271. Huh? He, he's he, needs, he needs to get to 270. He's got one. Oh, is it 270? I thought it was yeah, 240. 270. Excuse me. 270. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here it yeah. said 270 yeah. to win. Uh, so um, uh, 232 electoral votes remain. So, you know, I mean, I, I think it's anybody's race here. We still haven't gotten Alaska. We still haven't, we aren't going to get Hawaii for a while. Uh, Six. Yeah, the, but po- the polls close at 12 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. We, we know he's going to get Hawaii, though. That's, that's Biden's territory. Um, he'll, get, he'll get California, Oregon, Washington. Well, no, he got California, Those Oregon, cool, and Washington already. Yeah, oh, they, did? they called it. Oh yeah, yeah, they he did the whole sweep already. of the West Coast. 
We don't know about Nevada yet, but, but that doesn't amount to very many uh, uh, electoral votes. It's only six, uh, what is it, six electoral votes? Uh, they, they haven't put Arizona in here yet, and that's good for 11 electoral votes. Yeah. Uh, they haven't put Montana in here, which is good for uh, another three electoral votes. Idaho, four electoral votes. Um, so, you know, uh, Iowa, uh, no, Trump is leading in Iowa, but Minnesota, you got um, 10 electoral votes there. You got Wisconsin, Trump's ahead there, but too close to call. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's, gonna, it's a nail-biter. I don't think we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and know who the winner is. But, you know, I thought, it would be, I thought he was going to win solid, Biden. I really did. With all these people dead. I COVID, thought we would COVID see. I, thought, I can't believe I'm standing I thought there was a good possibility we were going to see a rout. Because my yeah. feeling was if people weren't mad about this, you know, uh, mm -hmm. about what's been going on. I mean, what does it take to get them mad? I mean, it's almost, a, that's what I'm saying. I'm sat on the couch. I made my mother go to bed. I'm like, what am I seeing here? Yeah, yeah. It's like I couldn't even, it's just like, I actually, I was texting Charlie. I'm actually Look, sick. To what I'm saying makes me sick about this country is that this is even a, a route or a push. Scott, you've been very quiet. What are your thoughts on it? Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking enough. That's my thought. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I don't even drink. Yeah, well, you know something? This may make me start drinking. Should yeah. I? Have one of them? <laughs> you know, I've never, I've never been, I never, I've never done alcohol in my life. You know, uh, but uh, now seems like a good time to start. Good drinking. time to start. Yeah. Yeah. I only drink on occasion. You know, because uh, I've got a president who's out to kill me. He, he is, Alex. You know, he's, he's out to out, kill us. You know, he's out to kill any of us here. Uh, he's out to kill Jeff. He's out to kill... How, yeah. how old are you, Scott? 62. Oh, he's out to kill you. He's out to kill Charlie. Yeah. John, yeah. how old are you? Larkin, how old are you? 63. 63. He's out to kill you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, You're on the list. Yeah. <laughs> You're on our list. Let's put it that and way. And Tony, after your comments tonight, you'll probably be arrested and thrown <laughs> yeah, in a gulag like somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> right. He'll be the first one to be arrested. <laughs> you know, I have no record. Now you do. What is that? Yeah, is that, it, is that, that, get is get that the thing that's in back of you? Joke. Is that thing that's in back of you uh, from Psycho? <laughs> What's that? Is that what turned around in the in oh. Psycho? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, that's oh. my mom. Is that that's your, mom? If he, mom, if he yeah. killed my mom, mom, I'm not a liar. That's mom. Did that's you put that on the mother, same on body. the same photograph with uh, with uh, Tony's background? Yeah, yeah that's Tony's movie. background, and that's mom. Oh, yeah. I see. I never saw the movie. Yeah. Huh? I never saw it either. Like Shecky, I never saw Psycho. I'm, I'm, oh my God. I, never, I didn't. I never saw it. Wow. Shecky's ne incredible. never seen I Psycho. Never when I asked him why he's never watched Psycho, he said, when well, I've seen every movie I want to see, I still know there's one left to see. Mm. You know? Um, but, I, mm. you know, I find it hard to believe that somebody can avoid Psycho. You know, that yeah. in your whole yeah. life you haven't managed, that you've managed to avoid it. So. I mean, they, yeah, they show it, like, at least once a month somewhere. Yeah, it's on TV oh. all the time. Did you see the watch? birds on Saturday Night Live? Did you see the birds thing? Last yeah, I, I, you know. That was so stupid. Saturday Night Live has been pretty terrible this year. It has. Really, really yeah. inconsistent. The week before it was, it was okay. Pretty good. I'm trying to remember yeah. who the host was. And it was kind of, there were a couple of funny things in it. Yeah, I thought the thing about the um, the it was the the fortune, same Adele. It was Adele. Yeah, the for she's very good, by the way. She was cracking up the whole time. Yeah, but she was very good as a sketch player. <laughs> yes, she was. You, you know, it was uh, fun. But the bit they did about going to a fortune teller who told them this is in 2019 about what's going to go on that next was great. year. That was, was great. very funny. Very yeah. funny. But. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it's just, I, I just don't understand what's happened to this country, you know? Yeah. And I blame it on a combination of things. I blame it, I blame it on uh, uh, television and that it's completely 
distorted what real life is like, you know? We have reality shows, but if that's reality, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's not reality. But they look upon Trump as being real when he was nothing but a TV mythos and created by Mark Burnett, yeah, who told him what to say and where to sit and led him to make him look good. America has eaten that up. Social media, I think, hasn't helped because what it's created is uh, a complete, uh, uh, it's made morons out of everybody in America yep. because they yep. read these, these blogs and they read the, you know, and the access to people with an opinion is so easy that nobody questions, do they really know what they're talking about, you know? And uh, we live in that world. Uh, I think that we that, that somewhere along the line, I got to tell you, you know, I hate to say this, but when I was a kid, I was thinking about this the other day because when Ronnie died, I, I started thinking about the world we grew up in. And she and I were pretty close in age by about a year. And, uh, you know, I mean, we didn't live up in a per we didn't grow up in a perfect time. We grew up during the McCarthy era and the, the witch hunts, you know, the Hollywood witch hunts and things like that, which was just terrible. But life was simpler back then, you know. And um, I hate to be like an old guy saying when I was a boy, but Jeff, you know what I'm talking about. You know, growing up as a kid, you got to grow up as a kid. You know, uh, uh, you know, Adrian, is she growing up as the kind of kid I was allowed to grow up being? You can't. When, when, I, when I was growing up, uh, I wanted to go to the movies on Saturday. The movie oh, wow. theater was a mile away from my house in San Anselmo, California. So I walked there at age 9, 10. Would you let Adrian do that these days? No, 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 no. 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 I used to do that all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, me too. Yeah. But oh, you know, you can't too. you the kids can't do that anymore. I mean that's I, I can't I can't remember my parents telling me to go outside. I mean, get up in the morning, first thing you do, get outside, get on your bike, go to your friend's house, knock on the door. That's you know, right. Can Alex play? You know, that's the first thing you do. And by the way, I sometimes when I finally got a bicycle, I rode my bicycle to the movie theater and I parked it outside and when I was through watching the movie, it was still there. <laughs> you know, yeah. think about it. You know, this is the simple life that we had that uh, doesn't exist anymore. And the world it's been replaced by is full of disease and people are out to get you. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. And then, you know, for me, it's been really hard because um, my family, like my own parents, are total Trump people. Really? Oh, God. Uh, and I'm not allowed. And, and and if I try to talk to my mother or mm. about it, they actually yell at me. They tell me, don't say anything. Don't send us emails. We don't want to talk about it. It's just like it's it's horrible. Well, I got to tell you something, though. Uh, Phil said something very interesting. And, and uh, I, I feel for him. OK, gee, Trump, 56.4, Biden, 42 in Pennsylvania. Oh, with 50% in, God. I don't think so. Yeah. I think once they they uh, start counting all the mail-in ballots, uh, I think it's all going to change. But Yeah. Whatever. Trump will like that number, but if it was reversed, he'd want to recount. He'd want to recount, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but uh, where was I? What was I saying? What was I talking about? Uh, oh, with Phil, he said Phil. something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Phil said, something you know, Phil. if you heard the interview... He said that he doesn't put a Trump sticker on his car because he doesn't want to get it keyed. You know? So, I mean, I even feel for the Trump people who want to express their point of view. I don't agree with it, but they shouldn't be fearful to put a Trump sticker on their bumper. In fact, uh, you know, I guess in California, you could put a Biden st bumper sticker on your bumper and you wouldn't have a problem. Uh, uh, but if you did that in Arkansas, you would. <clears throat> No, you still have the, the, you saw the, remember on the Monday show, we were showing the video of Pleasanton, California, which is pretty yeah. close to here. These guys are still doing these huge rallies and they have the parades for, for Trump, you know, so it's still, 
and you see the big trucks with the big flags, Trump. So I wouldn't put a Biden on my. Well, out out there where Phil lives in Pleasanton and Concord and Orinda and all those places, that's very much Trump country. Yeah. I went to school with all those people. They're super, super conservative. Yeah. But I mean, the point the point I'm making is, is that that, uh, uh, you know, I mean, when do we when do we suddenly become so hostile with one each with one in each other? And and when did we not respect each other's politics? I mean, I can say to somebody, listen, I, I really think you're wrong to even think these positive things about Donald Trump. But, you know, I'm not going to go key their car over it. But you know what? You know, no, what? me either. You know what I think, Alex? Yeah. I mean, maybe I went over the top before, but I, I'm going to elaborate on what you just said. Look at how we were for, I blame Trump for this. Three, four years ago, you didn't have civil unrest. Everything he did, he he just trumped it up more. He spanned the fires. He always condoned things that were wrong. This all happened since he's been in office. Well, he's incited violence. He's given them... Yeah. He's given power to that forgotten person. I that, mean, the blocking, the blocking, races, so blocking of one of them is, but there's a small fraction of them that feel empowered. What, what I've people. often talked about is, and I, oh, I, yeah. I, and I say it's true of somebody like myself doing a show that all my life uh, doing broadcasting, I always live by one rule. Don't ever say anything or do anything. Okay. Uh, or do anything that would give somebody a sense of permission. Yeah. And Trump mm-hmm. gives a sense of permission to all these people. And well, that's the so big terrible. Going wild. That's what's so terrible about him. You know? See, uh, that's why when I went to vote when you said that and I thought about it, you would think just on that alone, listen, you got it. He just lacks no leadership. Yeah. I mean, just on that alone for the security of the people. Look what he did with that lady in Michigan. He went back for that rally. Oh, husband boats and maybe we're, he's even when she had the death threat, he went back again and was making incendiary comments. Yeah, it's, he never stops. Yeah, yeah. When did somebody push back? And, and the, what the, the, what, the what, yeah, yes, Jeff. I I think uh, I've been thinking about it, and I I think we all agree that Trump is a liar, oh, yeah. continuous liar, and. I mean, one of the things that goes on is that all the other Republicans support him. They know he's lying. Mm-hmm. And they don't, they accept it. Except the other thing is, stepped out on him. Fox TV really supports it. They amplify it. And, and I think a lot of people who were what I what I want to call angry people, they had they had their, yeah. their TV show. Yeah. Last night, I uh, oddly enough, you know, the the bad sad news was getting the news right after the show the other night by uh, somebody yeah. went on my Facebook page to send me a message that Ronnie had died. But what happened nice uh, in a very nice way was last night. At about 11.30, my phone rings, and it's a FaceTime call from Will Durst in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And he called me to talk about what do you think is going to happen tomorrow with the election. And I was on with him for about a half hour, and I felt, you know, it was terrible what happened with Ronnie. But at least this, at least the fact that the guy even could call me. He's still, you know, living with a stroke, and he still can't. He's paralyzed on his right side, but he's he he. It was it, it, it made me feel good for a moment. He's articulate. Yeah, and he's did he try, did he try now some uh, some new routine. No, no, <laughs> some, some material. No, no. <laughs> no. I, I wish he had actually. Be honest with me. Yeah. Um, did he have to go back to the hospital? No. Or was he, has he not no, he's been never out? gotten out of it. Oh, no. he's I been thought there. I saw him. He's been in and out of hospitals for a year now. Oh, okay, I think I saw him at, at home for a short period of time. Suppose okay. he said something about that Debbie was going to take him home for a day or so this week. Now, I, I think don't he's know been how. home a few times. I saw him on something at home like about three or four months ago. 
I, I then, doubt it. I doubt it. I don't. Well, think maybe it was a repeat of something. Maybe. I don't think he's been in any shape to be able to do that. Uh, it must have been. A, they must have put up a different video, an old video. Well, I mean, I did videos with him that I've run over again. Oh, uh, maybe it was you then. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, he, he's been pretty much in the hospital ever, ever since that happened. And I talked to him about you, Jeff, and about you know, hey, it's a, it's a long haul. It's a long road. It's a, then he it's said, a I said, at least, uh, you know, I said, my friend Jeff can't read since he had the stroke, but at least you still can. So you still got some of, you got all the things you need to do comedy. It's just, uh, you can't do stand up. <laughs> you know? can't do I that. said, but how many comedians sit on a stool and do their That's act? Right. You know, <laughs> so. Uh, but well, it was just one it, president it, who did it. It just made me feel really good that he called me. I didn't even I called him every now and then, but he just decided to call me, and it was like eleven thirty at night. I went, did he butt dial me or something? You know, but no, he wanted to call <laughs> me and find out what I thought was going to happen tonight. And I said, well, I think Biden's going to take it, and he said, well, I don't think so. He said. I'm worried that uh, Trump's going to get it again. Jeez. And I said, you just want that because it's good for comedy. Mm. You know. Uh, hey, the, the Vegas bet is looking pretty good. The Vegas bet is looking good? $10. Remember, he, that's why those polls, remember, they had, according to the polls, if it's, oh, he had an 80% yeah. chance. Oh. They're saying that Arizona is still too early to call, but it looks mm. pretty damn good. You know, I, I just read that uh, maybe Fox, Silver Fox said picked uh, Biden to win in, in Arizona. Fox picked Biden to win in Arizona? Yeah. Because he yeah, got Maricopa so. County, which is like 75% of the population of Arizona. Yeah, that's Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so uh, it looks like, you know, like he's got Arizona. But uh, it's, it, it's going, it's going to be, I think we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and still not know who's president of the United States. And of course, Trump is very right. mad at that. He said, "What you know? We we want to know the night of the election. We never know the night of the election. We only know what the press, to, the person, the press has deemed has won. Okay, we don't get an official count or anything for for weeks. You know, so I mean, we're we're not we're going to go to bed tonight and not know who the winner is." Um, and uh, yeah, he's going to uh, Trump's going to pick up a lot of states, but I still think that Biden has a really nice pathway. He certainly has a good amount of people, so you know he has a good amount of numbers at this point. What is it at this point? Let me look at the uh, map again. Uh, one ninety-two to one fourteen. So you know Trump's got a lot to do. He's got to win a lot of these states. He's really got to run the board. And I don't know that he's going to be able to necessarily do that. Uh, Biden has uh, six, uh, what is it, 50.1% of the vote, and Trump has 48.4%. Other has 1.5%. So that's what you got, you know. And uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, I hope that it comes out that Biden won. But I think it's going to be a while before we find out. Uh, and, uh, you know, the they say the tight race may come down to Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, and North Carolina. Well, I don't think Arizona at this point. I'm, I, I'd even give it. You say the Fox gave Arizona to... Uh, to him, that, that's what I saw on a Twitter. On a Twitter, somebody said, "Yeah, yeah." Somebody said Fox did, so I believe it. But yeah. I'm not watching Fox. I can't do that. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. It makes my head explode. <laughs> so, <laughs> if what? if Trump wins Michigan, and but well, if Trump wins Mich Michigan and Pennsylvania, it won't really matter if. Uh, and, and let's say Biden wins Wisconsin, Arizona, and North Carolina. I think I think Trump would win, wouldn't he? No, I don't think so. I I, I don't think that's the path to victory because Michi know. Michigan, you got uh, sixteen electoral votes. Trump's ahead there by a great deal, but they've only got forty eight percent of the vote in so far. 
Yeah. Uh, Ohio, Trump is ahead, uh, and they, but they uh, so he's probably going to get Ohio. I thought uh, they already gave it to him. Uh, uh, n- no. Not not here. No, I haven't seen anybody call it. Uh, Wisconsin is kind of within uh, five points ahead for Trump. They have 61% of the vote in. So that may go to Trump or it may not. I mean, that's still a toss-up. Minnesota yeah. is uh, heavily in the Biden column, and that's got 10 electoral votes. You know, I mean, it's still... Oh, Michigan. Hmm? It's going to come down to the wire. They haven't even called Florida, you know. Uh, Yeah, but he's got like a six-point lead, though. That's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but you just never know where the rest of those votes are, you know, especially especially this year when we have had a lot of people voting early and a lot Mm -hmm. of people mailing in their votes, you know, and and, uh, and, and, – uh, Pennsylvania didn't even start tabulating votes, e- even the mail-ins, mm-hmm. till they closed the polls down tonight. Yeah. Yes. So, right. it, and they said, don't expect us to come out with a, an actual count for a couple of days. You know right. what's amazing? Mm-hmm. You can have 300,000 people dead from COVID, have no plan, have no health insurance plan, and you get reelected because he did such a great job. Yeah. No. I don't understand that. He fucking he, he tells the country, "Oh, we got the COVID thing under control. Everything's wave. fine." What the fuck? And How the can somebody say first... that and get elected president? Well, I wish we did have it under control, and I wish it were almost just around the corner, and all of that, all the things that he but claims. He but it's not. If it isn't true. It's no. And he lied on on tape to Bob Woodward that he knew it was viral and it was airborne. Yeah. And he still got away with it. And you know, I got to say, Brian. You know, you got a, a little kid there that's going to have to inherit this world. And uh, that's that's what bother, bothers probably bothers you. Yeah, it's funny. T- Tiffany said, oh, I have my my uh, my um, the, the, the voting stuff. And she goes, you can vote, you know, put your vote. And I said, no, it's not my vote. It's for Simon, Stephanie and Adrian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like the the thing that the uh, the uh, Lincoln the Lincoln project, project did, yeah. in which the mother said, she said, "Who he said, who are you voting for?" And she said, "I'm voting for you." Yeah, yeah. He said, "But I'm not. I can't run for president." No, but I'm voting for you. Yep. I'm voting for your future. And yep. I, and I, you know, what they've been doing with those ads have just been terrific. They've been relentless. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. I. Uh, uh, you know, I've really appreciated them. But who knows? Who knows who's going to win or who's going to lose or <laughs> whatever. But the depressing part is that it's this close. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that yeah. it doesn't yeah. have to be this close. Uh, it, it shouldn't be this close. Uh, this man has done nothing to earn a second term oh. in any person's world. And the fact that we have a, a, a populace that either doesn't realize this and is so bereft of moral morality themselves that they will t- put up with a person like this, or they just didn't get out to vote. And how could you avoid not voting in this uh, atmosphere? You're voting for your life. And if this guy continues to be president and COVID continues to climb, you better kiss your ass goodbye. Okay, that's all there is to it. And he can't even dance. He dances to the fucking YMCA. Come on, he looks like a drunk white guy too. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah, he, every, every, well, every, I'm telling you, I hope he really gets COVID because I'm every, hoping for it now. Every, no, that, he, did, so, he got COVID already. He survived it. I don't camp. believe I don't it. it. That's I don't yeah, I think it was it. fake. Good. That uh, guy, he's so overweight and out of shape, he would have fucking dropped dead. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think he really I, had it? Bullshit. No. Nah. Nah. I, I, there's a good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know of anybody that got over it that fast. Oh, Ohio, I don't think he had it. Ohio's going for uh, Trump. Okay, I just yeah, came yeah. in. Anyway, yeah. hey, listen, I was going to go later tonight if there was anything to go later for, but this is going to keep dragging on. Uh, yes, do you have something to say quickly, John? No, I was waving. Oh, you were waving. Oh, before I wave goodbye? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> follow my lead. Uh, uh, 
Brian, thank you very much. Jeff, thank you. Thank you to John Larkin. Thank you. Scott, good having you here tonight. Happy to have you here tonight. Uh, also, uh, my good friend, uh, Charlie Wallace, and uh, uh, of course, uh, Ch uh, uh, Tony. And finally, Ray Renati. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Why doesn't everybody give a big wave goodbye? And I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. And uh, yeah, we'll call it quips, okay? There they go. All right, let me get rid of them. Uh, listen, uh, next uh, here is the uh, is the intersection with our good friend Jack Bishop. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live is the uh, thing to call. Uh, I'll be here, I guess, again tomorrow night. Who knows? We may continue doing the same show because the election may not yet be over. Uh, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed. In the meantime, everybody, have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And come on, you know, be careful out there and wear a mask. Night, everybody. <laughs>